Phoenix, back to do another energy update for the sign of Pisces. Just keep in mind these are general readings. They're not going to resonate for all of you, but for the ones it does resonate for, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. For those of you interested in a personal reading, the email is in the description box below, together with the link for any of you that would like to donate to my cause at this point in time. Alright, for those of you that have no idea what I'm speaking about, there is a video on the channel that states what I'm speaking about. Alright, so let's jump into this reading and see what is happening here for you guys. Your support will be appreciated, I guarantee you that. Alright, so I see you moving in a new direction, leaving the past behind, leaving things that held you back before behind. Because you're in this self-imprisonment mode where you feel like things are not working for you the way it should. You have a relationship on your mind right now that is causing you a lot of anxiety and stress. But it is one that you truly want and truly desire at this point in time. Alright, so let's see what is happening here in the tarot for you guys. Alright, so some of you could be dealing with our Aries, but it seems that you are afraid to take charge of a situation right now. You are afraid that the outcome will not be the one that you want or the one that you feel you can handle. You could be dealing with a fire sign, an Aries, Leo, or Sag, but I don't see this person really wanting to commit to you in a relationship. You may see them as your ultimate wish fulfillment, but I do not think that they see you that way. Because they're in this energy of being in and out of your life. They're back and forth, undecisive. For most of you, this is just a sexual union. Yeah. I do see you finding the clarity that you want, though. You're finally going to accept some type of truth about a situation. You're finally going to leave the past behind. Yeah. You could be dealing with a... a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, but this person is quite the player. This person is in their emotions, so they make decisions based on their emotions, not based on logic. And you're going to realize that you may think that they are your ultimate wish fulfillment, but you may realize that they are in love with someone else. They find somebody else to be appealing. Yeah. Could be an Aquarius you're dealing with, but this person is definitely your wish fulfillment. This person is everything you want, you desire. You're obsessive about this person. But there is a break in the relationship right now. And there is a, a feeling of desperation. A feeling of wanting this relationship to work. Yeah, but you're not offering a relationship to this person. Instead, what you're doing is you're pretending to ignore them, pretending to ignore that they exist. So you're in self-denial right now. But at every turn, the only thing you think about is this person, is this relationship, is wanting this person back, is needing this person. But they don't want to commit to you could be a Taurus you're dealing with and you're holding out because you want commitment from them yeah you want to reconcile this relationship you want this relationship to come back and you want them to commit to you you're willing to put the work and effort into it now but this person is not interested this person has moved on this person has moved to calmer waters this person has decided to 
take their leave. Yeah. It broke your heart. The relationship has you in pieces. The relationship has you in a turmoil. But you have to accept that it is done and it is over. But for some of you, you're trying to manifest the relationship back. But it's not working out for you, is it? It's not giving you the clarity that you want. It's not giving you the desired effect that you feel that you need. Could be a Leo some of you are connecting to, but you're trying to find the strength and the courage to move forward in a direction. To move forward into new and calmer waters. Or you're trying to find strength to woo this person back to you. You're confused as to why your manifestation is not working at this point in time to bring this person back to you. Yeah. Because you're unhappy, you're unfulfilled, and you're definitely wanting this person in your life. You're fighting against your own self and you're fighting against the change. But you're not seeing anything happening in your connection or moving in your direction. But you are trying to move to this person slowly and strategically. Or a sign in your orbit is trying to move towards you and you're so distracted by this specific relationship that you're not seeing this person is trying to offer you a stable relationship and a love connection. But they haven't spoken to you yet. This person has not revealed themselves to you yet. They have not told you how much they love you or how truly they feel about you. Or how badly they want a relationship with you. So while you're being distracted by this other person, somebody is in your orbit that wants an actual committed relationship with you. Spirit, what is the most likely outcome for my Pisces in this connection? Alright, so accept the ending. There is a transformation that needs to happen in your life. Now, things may be difficult at this point in time, but it's not going to remain that way. The relationship you just got out of was to teach you a lesson, was to teach you, to guide you, to help you have a spiritual awakening, to help you with your personal growth. Cut out wanting this relationship back because your wish fulfillment is right around the corner. It may come in the form of a friend or someone that you have trusted for years. Take the wisdom from the relationship that didn't work and invest your time into the new relationship that needs to work. Because luck is definitely on your side, but it is not for the relationship that you want to return to. Alright, so this is what I have for you guys. I hope it does help. Uh, for those of you, please check the link in the description box below. Have a good weekend.